Okay, so you're in Microsoft Excel and you're getting this error. You can't change part of an array. Now you might get this message for lots of different reasons, but I'm going to look at why you would get it if you're trying to sort data or if you're trying to delete a formula. So let's start with the problem where we're trying to sort data. If I right click into this list of branches, I go to sort, I get the little message here. Now the reason why we're getting that error in this column is because we're using one of the new dynamic array formulas in Excel. And the unique function just spills the list of unique values based on another range. What I'm gonna to have to do here is to use the sort function. So I'm putting unique within sort. Array is the only mandatory argument. Now I've only got one column here, so I don't need to specify a sort index. So I'll put two commas in and then I get to the sort order argument. And I can specify here whether I want the sort in ascending or descending order. I'll say descending, close the bracket, press enter, and it sorts the data. Now, if you want to do this on two columns, so I've got a list of unique branches, plus I've calculated the revenue for each of these branches using the SUMIF function. What you should do here is create another table and then use the sort function again. And your array this time would be both the columns, comma, and then with sort index, you can specify which of the columns you want to base your sort on. So I want to sort on revenue, that's sort index two, the second column, and the sort order I'll have as ascending. Close the bracket, press enter, and it creates your table in the specified sort order. So let's go to our second example. Now here, all we want to do is to edit a formula or delete it. So if I select this cell here and press delete, I get the same message. You can't change part of an array. Now, if I look in the formula bar here, you can see I've got brace brackets around the formula. And that indicates to me that this value here is part of an array. Now, the only way we're gonna be able to edit or delete this formula is to delete or edit the whole array. To do that, we need to be able to select the whole array. And if you know where that is, you can just select it. But if you're not sure, click in a cell within the array, then use Control G on your keyboard to open up the Go To dialog box, go to Special, and then select Current Array. Click on OK, and it will select the cells within the array. So if I now press Delete, it will delete the array. I can then re-input my formula as a non-array formula. So in this instance, it would be product price times one minus the discount. I'd need to place my dollars in the correct place. Close the bracket, press enter, and then I can copy the formula down and across. And I'm no longer gonna have this problem with the array error message because these cells are no longer part of an array. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.